What's going on, everybody? So another month has passed. May has, has come and gone. We're in June now, and so it, it's time for my best of uh, the month, my picks for the, the best albums of May 2023. But first thing I got to say, well, first disclaimer is I cover melodic rock, symphonic metal, and power metal. Those are the, the main things I cover, so you can expect me to be considering those sorts of styles and genres and what have you. But also, in the description down below, I've listed every song that I listened to off-channel that I found noteworthy for one reason or another. So go check that out. Uh, you know, I didn't include anything I did a reaction to because I did a reaction to it. You know, the, the video's there. You can check that out. But anything that I, I listen to off-channel, it's not all-inclusive because I, I listen to a lot of the stuff off-channel, but these are songs that I found, again, noteworthy for one reason or another. All that's in the description down below. You can go, I even put the link for each song to the original video from the band's channel or, or the, the label's channel. All that stuff. So you can go in there, have fun, see if there's anything you missed, see if anything looks interesting to you and then just click the link and it'll take you right to the song so you can check it out but uh, yeah all that's listed down below and the only thing I ask is if you click you know if you go check out any of those songs that I listed in their comments section over there just tell them Power Metal Ranger sent you that'd be super cool spread the word all that good stuff but uh, yeah that's that and I also listed in the description down below below all of the songs all of the albums I listened to for the month of May, every album that I, I, I gave a spin and uh, listened to, that's all down there as well. Not with any links or anything, but the, the band name and the album. So you can see all of the albums that were, you know, contenders or just all of the albums in general that I listened to in the month of May and see if you missed any or, or go check some of them out and all that good stuff. So that's there as well. But now, anywho, Let's, let's talk about my picks for the best albums of May 2023. Another quick disclaimer, I don't consider live albums, re-releases, remasters, uh, cover albums really, things of that nature, EPs. Because as you see in the description, I listen to so many new full-length albums that I, I can't just, <laughs> I have to keep that contained somewhat, you know, I can't listen to any more than that because that's already a lot, so uh, yeah, just brand new full-length albums uh, are what I listened to and what I consider. And I have to say, May was a killer, killer month with some great, great music and albums. And so this is one of those months where I don't always do this, but this is one of those months where I just had to, I have a list of honorable mentions because there were so many great albums and, and, and whatnot that it was really tough narrowing down my top five and so I have a list of honorable mentions that I will mention here first so boom take a look at those Th those are the albums that uh, I thought were really really great and, and I consider to be honorable mentions first up we got Sacred Outcry with Towers of Gold some solid power metal next you got Devicious with Code Red some really great melodic rock possibly their their best release yet. Uh, next you got The Silent Rage, Nuances of Life, some real nice power metal there. Uh, next you got Blind Hex with Dystopia, this is more on the symphonic metal side. And specifically, one song that really blew me away was the song called Fly. So I highly recommend you check out that song and, and the whole album, but the song Fly in particular, really awesome, I loved it. Next up, you got Avalanche with Arctic Atlas, another really, really great symphonic metal album. And last but not least, you got Wings of Steel with Gates of Twilight, really cool kind of heavy power metal style with a lot of other uh, styles mixed in with that. A really cool kind of unique album that I highly recommend. So yeah. Those are the honorable mentions for May of 2023. All of those are really, really solid, so I highly, highly recommend each and every one of those albums there. But now, let's talk about my top five picks for best albums of May 2023. In no particular order, 
We're starting with Adrian Benegas with the album Arcanum. Really, really great power metal album here with a glorious synergy of guitars and keyboard that, that really, really take it to another level. This album feels like a journey. Killer vocals from Ronnie Romero. Some of his, some of my favorite vocals of his in quite some time. This album really, or Adrian, just really brought the best out of Ronnie. And uh, yeah, just a killer, epic power metal album. Next up, we got Battleborn with Blood, Fire, Magic, and Steel. This was a highly anticipated album. Uh, really great power metal. They, they, they play with, you know, a few different things throughout. There's some electronic stuff in there and this and that, but it, it's a pretty epic power metal album. Some killer melodies. And yeah, I, I mean, like I said, it's just epic power metal that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, next up, you got Alcatraz with Take No Prisoners. This one's interesting because it kind of starts off on the melodic hard rock side, but once you get like a few tracks in or so, it kind of takes on more of a heavy power metal sort of vibe for majority of the remainder of the album. And I was very impressed with this album. A lot of great melodies in there. A lot of songs that just had really catchy, you know, choruses or just really great it, musicianship all the way throughout. A lot of memorable stuff in here. So like I, I said, majority of this I would consider to be kind of in the heavy power metal sort of vein, melodic power metal or, or what have you. But there are a handful of tracks that are a little bit more kind of on the melodic hard rock side. I really enjoyed those as well. But it's just a really solid, consistent album all the way through that uh, really, really impressed me. Next up, you got Oriad with Sacred and Profane. This one's a tough one to describe here, but it, 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 there's some progressive elements in there. There's some phonic elements in there. Uh, there's doom elements in there, but it, it's quite an experience, you know, just killer musicianship, killer, killer vocals. This is one that is just really, really blew me away, and I highly recommend it, you know, for the experience and just the, the musical and vocal prowess and the songwriting. And it, it's epic. It's melancholic almost. It, it's a little dark. It's uh, beautiful. It, it, it's so many different things that you really just have to listen to it for yourself. Amazing stuff there. And last up, we got... Walk with Titans with Olympian Dystopia. Really, really great melodic power metal, kind of in the vein of the 2000s power metal style. The just soaring um, uh, melodies, you know, epic sound. It just really, really great. It kind of reminds me of some early Stradivarius in a sense with not as much keyboard, but just with, with those great melodies and just the, the powerful power metal vibes and it just a really incredibly solid album that I was very very impressed with and I really look forward to what the band continues to do because this is one heck of a start here so yeah there you have it those are the top five my picks for the the top five albums of May 2023 and it was really tough getting and narrowing down those those top five because there was so much stuff that I really enjoyed and once I had those top five, it took a while, but I was able to narrow it down to two. I won't tell you what the second one is, just out of fairness for the rest of the albums in the list, but I was able to narrow it down to two, and then I got stuck on those two for another good while before I was able to finally decide on my pick for, for number one. So without further ado, just like the Highlander, there could be only one. So my pick for number one best album of May 2023 is Adrian Benegas with Arcanum. I, this album is just something else. I, it's epic, it's grand, it's a journey. The keyboard work is just absolutely mind-blowing. The guitar work is mind-blowing and the way the two work hand in hand, it, it creates something very, very special. And, you know, you have your nice ballads in there. You have your nice epic moments. 
you know, you have like some spoken word kind of telling you a little bit about the, the tale of what's going on here. And as I mentioned before, this is some of Ronnie Romero's best vocals, in my opinion, in, in quite some time. It really feels like he was invested in this project because, I mean, he lends his voice to a lot of different things. And, you know, after a time, it almost feels like someone just gets comfortable just kind of laying down their vocals and, and moving on. And not to say that that's what he does, but it just starts to kind of not feel as special as, as it may once have um, to me anyhow. But in this album, I was very impressed. Like I said, I'm a big fan of his voice, especially, you know, in the power metal kind of vein. And this album really brought the, some of the best work out of him, and he sounds great. There's some female vocals in there. The songwriting is so intricate, and, and but so like cohesive, and, and it just feels like every little detail what was just expertly crafted all the way throughout, and it, it just creates something that really is special. This is a, a real power metal masterpiece here that I, I just, it, it, it's just something. It's just really, really something. I was looking very forward to this album, but I, I mean, it even exceeded my expectations. And it, it really, really is something special that any power metal fan has to listen to. I, I cannot overstate that. So yeah, that, those are my picks there. And that's my number one pick, Adrian Benegas with Arcanum. This is from May 2023. But, anywho, let me know in the comments down below, folks, what y'all were listening to for the month of May. What were your top picks for the month of May? What were your favorite uh, albums for May? You know, I love seeing what everybody was really listening to and, and really digging and enjoying. So, please let me know in the comments what your favorite stuff of, of May was. And now, uh, we're just looking forward to June. I already started out with, with some, some great album releases on June 2nd. And there's plenty more to come. So, yeah, that's what I got for you folks here today. Thank you all so much for tuning in and for your continued support. I'll catch you all next time. Ranger.